Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse features Scarlet Spider, a version of Spider-Man from the 90s who suffers from a particularly harrowing past. In Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, dozens upon dozens of different versions of Spider-Man are featured across the great web of life destiny, including Ben Riley, aka The Scarlet Spider. Hailing from Earth-94, Ben Riley is a unique variant of Spider-Man in that he's also a clone of Peter Parker himself. Although the version of Riley seen in Across the Spider-Verse is more like a parody of the comics version, the Scarlet Spider is still an exciting addition nonetheless. In Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales, Shay McMore, explores the greater Spider-Verse beyond his own reality for the first time, interacting with the Spider-Society created by Spider-Man 2099, Oscar Isaac, while learning the truth about his own existence as a web slinger. Miles meets a literal army of different Spider-Heroes, though one of the more prominent Spiders is none other than Ben Riley. Here's a breakdown of everything to know about the Scarlet Spider and how this movie version compares to the original from the comics. Scarlet Spider's origin in Marvel Comics explained. Having one of the most convoluted origins in the Marvel Universe, Ben Riley is essentially a clone of the original Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Debuting during one of Marvel's most controversial stories of all time, Spider-Man's clone saga from the 90s is infamous for continually stretching its plot out with a seemingly unending narrative that lost more and more logic over time. To provide one of the more notable elements, Dr. Miles Warren, aka The Jackal, created Ben complete with all of Peter Parker's memories, and as such Ben and Peter were tricked by the Green Goblin to believe that Ben was the original while Peter was the clone. Having died and been resurrected multiple times, Ben's constant crisis is one of identity. Not only has he been the Scarlet Spider with his blue sleeveless hoodie, but he's also taken over as Spider-Man more than once. He's also been a villain, at one point becoming the Jackal after he was driven insane. Most recently, Ben was serving as the main Spider-Man while Peter was in the hospital, becoming a trademark Spider-Man sponsored by the Beyond Corporation. However, the sinister company secretly run by rogue cosmic Beyonders tampered with Ben's mind, causing him to lose Peter's memories which in turn transformed him into the new villain Chasm. Scarlet Spider's powers in Marvel Comics explained. As a clone of Peter Parker, Ben Riley has the same powers as the original and primary Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. This includes the typical Spider-Sense, wall-crawling, acrobatic agility, and the proportionate strength of a spider. However, some of Ben's powers were altered after he fell into a pool of psychoreactive goo, the other element that turned him into chasm after losing Peter's copied memories. Now, Ben's spider sense has offensive capabilities, allowing him to telepathically counter imminent dangers before they strike, rather than just warning him. He can also create hard light energy weapons thanks to the goo created by the Beyond Corporation. Is there another Scarlet Spider in Spider-Man, across the Spider-Verse? While Ben Riley has a much bigger role in Spider-Man, across the Spider-Verse, another version of the Scarlet Spider is briefly seen among the many versions recruited into the Spider-Society. This is Kane Parker, another clone of Peter Parker who was Warren's first attempt at cloning Spider-Man. Despite being seen as a failure, Kane eventually developed powers beyond Peter's such as a more precognitive Spider-Sense along with a corrosive touch. Like Ben, Kane Parker also has a dark and troubled history, having brushes with villainy combined with more redemptive arcs. However, it's unknown whether across the Spider-Verse versions of Ben and Kane are from the same dimension. Regardless, it would be exciting to see Kane getting a greater role in Beyond the Spider-Verse, perhaps joining Ben Riley in the hunt for Miles Morales who's currently lost in the Spider-Verse. How Scarlet Spider is different in Spider-Man, across the Spider-Verse to Marvel Comics despite his complex origins with all their controversial twists and turns, Ben Riley is still one of the more popular variants of Spider-Man. 
However, across the Spider-Verse version of Ben Riley leans into the melodrama of his life and origins from the 90s, essentially making Ben a goofier parody of himself who dramatically leans against walls while struggling with his particularly harrowing memories and past. While this is quite hilarious in the context of his more limited role compared to other spiders in the movie, one would hope that Ben Riley is given more depth when and if his role is expanded in Beyond the Spider-Verse. Who voices Scarlet Spider in Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse? A major benefit to Across the Spider-Verse more hilarious depiction of Ben Riley is that Andy Samberg voices the movie Scarlet Spider. Following his successful tenure on SNL, Samberg produced and starred in Brooklyn Nine-Nine and has starred in movies such as Popstar, Never Stop Never Stopping and Palm Springs. As such, Samberg and his comedic acting chops made him the perfect choice for this Scarlet Spider who monologues everything he does while striking the perfect pose in the rain. How powerful is Scarlet Spider compared to other Spider-Man variants? Compared to other Spider-Man variants in Across the Spider-Verse, it does seem as though the Scarlet Spider has the equivalent abilities of a classic web-slinger, just as he does in the comics. As such, his power levels as a Spider-Man clone are presumably on par with most of the Spider-Man who've been recruited by Miguel O'Hara's Spider-Man 2099. However, it does seem as though the Scarlet Spider may have a higher rank than other spiders seeing as how he selected to join 2099 and Spider-Woman near the end of Across the Spider-Verse. How Across the Spider-Verse sets up Scarlet Spider's Beyond the Spider-Verse story. With any luck, Scarlet Spider joining 2099's team to hunt down Miles means he'll continue to have a role in Beyond the Spider-Verse. If so, it would be great if his story and character are expanded beyond what was seen in Spider-Man, across the Spider-Verse, even if it's done with a continued satirical tone that makes fun of his origins. It certainly seems like the best way to deliver a Scarlet Spider whose history is indeed quite ridiculous in the original Marvel comics.